they're not alone. All of a sudden, they're going through the exact same things. And they've got people like me and other career coaches. I mean, you're coming in to help my community out next week. And just hearing from outside perspectives gives them hope, Daniel, um, accountability. And I know you're really big on this in your programs. And you help hold your students inside your program accountable. And I know that that's such a critical aspect because when you are competing against the couch, when you are unemployed and you are competing against the couch and the television and the devices, the phones, all of the media that we have the ability to just touch on our fingertips, you are in trouble. You can get... All right, welcome, welcome, welcome back to this episode of the How to Get a Job podcast. And today we have a guest who's been on the podcast before, a good friend of mine who's just an amazing individual, amazing coach, amazing co-founder, amazing storyteller, Mr. Stan Miller. Stan Miller is a career co-pilot, community founder, and he is an expert at storytelling and relationship building, interviewing, you name it. Stan is a good friend and such a pleasure to have you back on the show, my friend. How are you? Man, I am doing great. Wonderful. I, I just realized that I think your podcast was one of the very first podcasts that I was ever on. So it feels sort of nostalgic to be back here with you a couple years later. So thank you for having I mean, me back. Thank you for, for this, man. I know like the way I look at it, it's a pleasure. It's so funny. Um, as we've grown in like I'm growing in my career and, and, and you're now doing this full time and, and because you've had such an amazing professional career too. It's like we get to speak. So sometimes we take our, our conversations for granted because like we're so used to getting companies that pay us thousands of dollars for the same conversations that we just have as friends. And for me, when we when I get to record this, like the way I think about it, the audience is like, guys, what you're hearing, people pay thousands of dollars to get and you're hearing it for free. So sometimes I get super lucky because I have amazing guests like yourself that like are willing to come share your time. And I know we do this back and forth. Like I'll go to, I'll go be a guest speaker at your community. And it's just like friends, like, Hey, like how do we support each other? And I think I, that to me brings me to one of the topics that I want to talk about is community and relationship building, because you truly are the, the sum of the relationships that you surround yourself with. And, um, and so last time we spoke and, and I, um, I'm going to try to reference back the, the episode that we did on, you know, how to answer the question. Tell me about yourself. We talked about that, but now you've co-founded called the Career Co-Pilot Community. I want you to tell me a little bit more about that, Stan. Yeah, so great. So there was the genesis around creating this community, Daniel, was really very simple. It's loneliness. I mean, job seekers, and I have been coaching and training and uh, professionally advising people for many years, and so have you, but I think you'll agree that we we as job seekers we get behind our computer and we're searching for a job and it is a lonely place and w you can get into linkedin and start doom scrolling and getting different advice and conflicting advice and you get confused and so before you know it you're you're bewildered as a job seeker you don't know what to do and so for me uh recently i started this community called the copilot community which is really to help people that are feeling lonely that are feeling confused Put them in a community together with other people like them and provide them with a structure to learn that's easy to digest information and more of a step-by-step -step approach, but also the element that's just magic inside the community, Daniel, which is the support of others that are going exactly through what you are going through and what's working for them. And so I'm really excited about it. Um, to, to be honest, for me, it's it's one of those feel good projects um, that I am heavily invested in because I believe in community. I believe that we can help each other win, and putting people together is is my sole goal. Yeah, no, no, I I'm so excited that you have this platform now um, because one, it's like if we think about this, like in, in in what makes humans better than any other animal is the ability for us to communicate and work together, right? Like it's individually, we're not the fastest, we're not the strongest, right? We're the smartest, but it's because we're smart on our ability to communicate and build communities. And because of the communities, 
one plus one is not two. One plus one could be more than two, right? Because and, and that's by us working together, right? And 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 so I do think that we can get further along in our goals and this goal, particularly of you improving your career by working together. And I think that this job, like this goal of getting improving in your career or getting a job, is extremely lonely because I think about it from multiple angles. I think about like I primarily work with international STEM students. And, and let's take a second, think about how lonely that is, right? You have an individual that moved from across the world to the United States to study STEM, cultural differences, right? So there's, you're by yourself, all your family and friends are over there. You don't know anyone, most of the time you don't know anybody here, right? In the United States, a lot of the jobs are filled by networking. You don't have a network. You probably, English is your second language. You probably have lack of confidence a lot of my clients are studying STEM, so a lot of them are more introverted. And they parents, a lot of times, mortgage their house or took a massive amounts of loans in the bet that they're going to graduate and have a good job to be able to pay off those loans in the next three years. And all that pressure of saying, not only do I go to this country, I'm getting loans, my parents are getting loans, but I now have to get a job to be able to do this. How can I tell my parents that I'm struggling finding a job? Like that's going to break their part. That's going to stress them out. And that becomes really lonely. Then I started thinking this, saying like, well, that's not just international students that have that unique problem. I can also that be an issue with if I am a father and, and I've been laid off and I have two kids and I have a wife that my wife's a stay at home mom and we were relying on my income, but I was laid off from one day to another without any warnings. And because of the economic situation, it's hard for me to get a job. But now I don't want to stress my wife and my kids out. And I'm bottling all this stress inside of me. So I, And I can go and say this again for millions of different stories. Like I'm a stay-at-home mother. And I think about my mother-in-law who stayed at home. And I remember two, three years ago, she wanted to go back to the workforce. But because she has 14 years of not working, she now feels very lonely and useless because all the kids are back in college. So the point is that I'm noticing is like, this is a feeling that every job seeker finds. And whether you're an international student, uh, 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 the, the father that's taking care of the household, a stay at home mom who now feels like her master's in psychology doesn't count. There's a lonely journey. And so what I think you're solving is that. And I think that's awesome, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that what I'm seeing, Daniel, in this community, which is which is really driving me to do more inside the community, is the people who have been at work, say, for 10, 12, and 15 years, they haven't gotten an interview. They haven't had to interview. They have felt safe. They've had that security blanket. They've been working for that large company. And all of a sudden, the company is doing something like, we have a return to office policy. We're in, you know, now we're, we have the remnants of COVID. Um, we all went home and now they're asking us to come back. But when they're asking us to come back, they're asking us to move. They're asking us to relocate. And I'm seeing a lot of people who haven't had to interview, don't really know what is involved with job search, and they are feeling a, a lot of anxiety. And what I'm finding is, you know, people entering the community with that mindset, that anxiety, find other people and they connect. And all of a sudden, they're not alone. All of a sudden, they're going through the exact same things. And they've got people like me and other career coaches. I mean, you're coming in to help my community out next week. And just hearing from outside perspectives gives them hope. And so we are solving loneliness through hope. And that's really the mission and vision around the Copilot program. And so now uh, the person who hasn't interviewed in 15 years can hear from you, can hear from me, can also hear from others, can find out what's working, and can hear from the best creators, the best career coaches on LinkedIn inside the community. So that's that's really what I'm building. And um, I have seen already in just 60 days, the community has been in existence for 60 days, Daniel. I've seen people get jobs. We've seen people have wins, get callbacks, get interviews, going from, I completely don't know what to do, to, hey, this is, um, I now have an interview and I have an opportunity to share my story. And so that in itself is Stan, worth it for me. I, and the reason, like, if you're, by the way, if you're listening to this and the reason why you're like, well, Daniel, like, this is a job, this podcast is supposed to help me get a job. Why are you talking about community? 
why are you why are you not spending and talking about resumes or interviewing or networking or salary negotiation? The reality is that to me, I've found, and I don't know if you've noticed this, Stan, but there's two big things when it comes to job searching that people take for granted and they don't need either they don't do or they just skip over really fast. One is clarity and the second one is a community. Uh, because you're just so eager to just start applying, start networking, start interviewing that you don't take the chance to even say, is this the right place to apply? So that's the clarity. That's a different podcast conversation. The second one is what we're talking about today is community. And if you're if you're listening to this podcast, the reason why we're dedicating like the majority of this podcast episode and even just an episode on community is because you shouldn't do this alone. And um, and so before I kind of I wanted to share an example of the way I look at this. But what are your thoughts on that? Stan? Have you seen that been similar mistakes or what? Yeah, I mean, there are so many mistakes that people make. And I mean, with your audience, Daniel, specifically, I would say one of the biggest mistakes that people can make in terms of, let's just say interviews uh, from an interview perspective, people think I've got to go share my accolades, achievements, awards. They think that I've got to prove something. I've got to sell myself in an interview. And what you actually need to know is that it's not selling yourself that's going to get you the job. It is building trust and human connections. And so when you understand how to build trust across the table or or through a screen with someone, you now have earned the right to be given an opportunity. And so it's not the best, most qualified person, Daniel, you know this, that gets the job. It's the person that is trusted to do the job, to do the work. And so... Inside the community, it's taking yourself from someone who is isolated to someone who is connected. And so being connected inside the community, it actually sharpens your human skills because you're in there, you're helping other people, you're talking about job search, you're talking about what works. And I just think that that is in a fertile environment for you to grow. And and it's not just my community, it's any community that you can be a part of that will help you get outside of that loneliness, stop feeling so, so much anxiety and really be able to talk about what the challenges you are facing are and get some help. I love it. I think absolutely. I I love it. I think the way I think through this too, is like, it's like, you know, if you think about if you're looking to get in shape, right. And there's a spectrum of all the way from getting free content on YouTube, on watching YouTube videos that are working out, all the way to joining a $10 a month gym like Planet Fitness, all the way to joining a more expensive gym that has more equipment, right? Or have has some classes uh, that might be like $30 a month or joining more like, a, like a Orange Theory that might be like $50 a month. That's, again, smaller, more personalized, but still not one-on-one, all the way to joining and working with a trainer that you're now working on a one-on-one basis. And every single time, uh, it's, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's a little bit more personalized. And But one of the things that those things have in common, except for like the free one, right, it, which is just watching YouTube videos by yourself, is that there's a level of community. There's a level of commonality. And there is no right or wrong answer. It really depends on your particular situation. So like I, I do a lot of like more like group, one-on-one coaching with our clients, which is a lot more expensive than I would say the community that stands offers. And again, it's all depending on your goals and your needs and how much support and accountability you need. You need to find the right spot for you, just like you need to write the, the right fitness avenue for you to help you find. But I think regardless of whether you're working one-on-one with a career coach or you're joining a community um, that might be only like, say, like, you know, $40, $25 a month. I think, Santa, I don't know how much yours is, but you can maybe talk a little bit about that. That the idea is that you don't do this alone and don't bottle that because when you lack clarity, when you lack uh, motivation, when you're feeling any stress and anxious and you're holding that on, that's going to actually impact you when you're interviewing because if you don't believe in yourself, the interviewer is not going to believe in you. Yeah, I mean, you said something really important there, Daniel. Um, accountability. And I know you're really big on this in your programs. And you help hold your students inside your program accountable. And I know that that's such a critical aspect because when you are competing against the couch, when you are unemployed and you are competing against the couch, 
and the television and the devices, the phones, all of the media that we have the ability to just touch on our fingertips, you are in trouble. You can get yourself into danger and you could not do what it takes to get to where you're going. And so again, accountability, I mean, what are your thoughts on accountability, Daniel? I think that, that people would love to hear that. I think that whether it's getting a job, getting in shape or reaching any goal, right? I think there's three main things that you need to be successful when it comes to that. All right. And I think that's why I focus my whole programs around is those three steps. And I'll actually, it's, it's funny because we never even plan to talk about this. Like one, it's, you need the right strategy, right? And the strategies can be very like, in terms of getting a job, I would tell you, I've interviewed hundreds of career coaches. Our strategies are 80% the same. You're going to need to fix your resume. You're going to need to fix your LinkedIn. You're going to need to network. You're going to get ready for interviews. That's the same. There's 20% that's a little different. I think that's really based on the type of job you're going for, the industry, the expertise of the coach, right? So you need the strategy. Let's be honest, guys. If you're listening to this, you can you can get the strategies for free on YouTube. Like you don't don't pay for the strategies. What you're paying for is accountability and community. I think that accountability and community are the two most important things to help you reach any goal, including getting a job. And I think community, you can a lot of times get that with your friends. Now, if you don't have a large group of friends, then that becomes hard. And I think joining a program like Stan's or mine can help you gain the community. But accountability and having someone holding you accountable, I think it's, the the game changer there because as humans we do a better job at keeping our promises to others and not ourselves because we justify ourselves like oh no one more episode on of this show or i rather go do this it's so much easier to delay gratification you know and, and the more we can delay gratification the better but when you have accountability right when you have someone that's holding you accountable and it doesn't always have to be a coach that you're paying a thousand dollars an hour to, it can also be a peer inside of your community that's in the same journey as you, that you just respect to the level you don't want to let them down. It's what matters. And I, and I think a lot about this in my, my current journey in my fitness journey. Cause I think that's like the area of my life where I feel like I'm more disappointed in, like you just be very vague. Like, like I'm very happy with my career. I'm very happy with my marriage. I'm not happy with my health in the sense of like, I think I need to lose 20 pounds. So, I'm hiring a personal trainer because of accountability. I have a gym buddy that meets me at the gym at 5 a.m. because of accountability. Because next time my alarm hits and I want to hit the snooze button, it's no longer about me not getting to the gym at 5 a.m. It's me not letting my friend down who's already driving to the gym. And that accountability makes a world of a difference. So going back to this is strategy, accountability, and community. Yeah, I think I agree with you, Daniel. And I think, you know, there's something about community and there's something about going public with a goal. You know, I learned uh, from a mentor many years ago, like I would share my, I would share my goals with my mentors and they would, uh, one of my mentors would say, great, when are you going public with it? And so, so she was not, she was encouraging me not just to share it with her, but to share it with other people. Because when you share, and I, and I look at this, uh, like when you go public on LinkedIn, I mean, some people, why do some people, Daniel, just turn the open to work on and not do a story or a post, right? Maybe it's because they don't know what to say. Maybe it's because they're not ready to go public. Maybe it's, they, they have a perception that that is going to attract someone to them that can help them. But what I'm doing inside the community is I'm actually not just telling you to go public. I'm showing you the story patterns, which I really love of what to write about you yourself inside that open to work post. And so we're going those extra miles, not only just to hold people accountable that want to be held accountable because we know you won't be held accountable if you don't desire that. But if you desire it, it's available for you. And to your point, it doesn't uh, replace a professional coach. Of course, I do one-on-one coaching, very similar to you and your team. It doesn't replace it, but it offers a place for you to go to figure out the tools and strategies that you need. And many people have joined the community and, and frankly have hired coaches, have hired resume writers from the community because I also have those people in the community. 
And so what I'm seeing is sort of this thriving community of people that are all willing to just be honest. And this is the other thing you mentioned friends. I love friends. I love sharing, but I have never had one of my friends that's not a career coach look at my resume in my life and give me any actionable feedback. It's always been, it looks great. You need a coach. You need someone that understands the discipline of resume, that understands job search to look at your resume. You need that in your life. And so inside the community, you don't get that personalized one-on-one, but you do get access to resources, which is the goal. You know, someone told me that I can't, I wish I can take credit for this, but it's definitely not my quote that, um, the rule of 333. Three, three. So like whenever you want to accomplish a goal, find three people who've accomplished that goal and learn from them, right? Find three people that have the same goal as you that you're aiming with and, and, and you know, go on this journey with them. Like, and I think that's that accountability part, right? Because I think like pe- peers that are in the same place as you, like my gym partner with me, right? We're both trying to get to the same health wise, right? We're both working out together. That helps us push each other, right? That accountability. And then find three people that are looking to accomplish a goal that you've accomplished. Because all of us, we've accomplished something that somebody else has done, right? If you graduated college, there's someone here thinking about wanting to go to college and wanting to graduate. So you can help someone, right? And then help three people, right? Because just like you're expecting three people to help you, you need to give back. If not, this cycle doesn't work. And so um, I think that the best part about a community like yours is, yes, you can get access to coaches. They can even work with you one-on-one if, you, if your schedule permits. I know that you, you're booked out on those, right? But, um, but also it's finding people who are in the same journey as you, who have the same goal. You know, they want to get a job in the next 90 days. Maybe, hopefully you find somebody who's in the same industry. I know your community is growing and growing, so there's going to be that. And that's the people that you can talk to more on like on a daily basis, texting each other like, hey, did you apply? Have you found anybody in this industry? Hold each other accountable that the coach can help, you know, customize that. But like that kind of ability in the same level, it's, it's, it's really powerful. Yeah, I agree with you. I think um, it, I'm definitely fully invested in this idea of helping people at helping people where they are and when they're in their greatest struggle. And again, you know this, when you're looking for a job, there isn't a many more lonely places than that. When you are sitting and literally waiting to hear back, and again, you have engagement strategies and you have outreach strategies that you're doing, but when you are when when it is radio silent, this is when the self-doubt starts to happen massive amounts of self-doubt. And and this is when the anxiety sets in. And this is where being connected to people who believe it's possible and that are going to um, encourage you when you need that encouragement is ultimately important and and can dramatically increase your success ratios. Yeah. We know this. No. Yeah. You're right. It's, you know, when your confidence is down, when everything seems wrong, you need someone to talk to you out and remind you like, hey, a hundred dollar bill doesn't lose its value because it's been wet and it's been stepped on. It's still worth a hundred dollars, right? And, and and so um so true. Santa, as we wrap this up, you know, if people want to learn more about you and the community, what's the best way to do so? Sure. Well, you mentioned the the pricing on the community, and I just want everyone that's listening to this to know that. Um, I have priced the community monthly at an irresistible rate of $25 a month. And so my objective here is to get as many people helping each other as possible. And so um, this is not a replacement for a career coach. This is not a replacement for a resume writer. This can help guide, encourage, direct, and give you trainings that I teach. Again, I teach storytelling. That's my thing. That's my jam. So all of my storytelling trainings are happening live. Uh, They're happening weekly. We're meeting weekly and we have great career coaches. In fact, the best career coaches on LinkedIn, like Daniel, are coming to the community to give back. So I appreciate that. Um, How you can find out about it. The truth is I don't have a website for it. I don't have a great uh, marketing landing page yet. You just have to DM me or you have to actually go to my featured section in LinkedIn and download one of my trainings and then you'll find out about it. 
So this is the the early sort of pre-launch phase, and uh, we've got over 100 members already in the community. So if you're interested in learning more, just connect with me uh, on, on LinkedIn and DM it. me. I'm going to actually put a link to Stan's LinkedIn here so you guys can go to connect with them. You can see all this information in the feature section. Stan the man. I appreciate you so much, man. I appreciate your friendship. And, and I want to publicly just kind of let everyone know how much I I just appreciate you being in my life, man. And and for the friendship, the mentorship, the, the you know, the fellowship, the community, um, everything, man. Yeah. This has been a two-way street, my brother. It's been years. You and I have been together uh, periodically, and uh, I've I've gained so much from your mentorship, so much from your business acumen, so much from your encouragement, and uh, a lot of where I am today in business is a result of our conversations. And so, thank you for doing and being no, who you are. I I, I, I want to just say this as we end up like. There's no such thing as a long-term relationship if it's not mutually beneficial. If you're listening to this, and I think that. That's what a good friendship is, is where you can learn from each other, right? It's it's understanding, like Stan and I are different people. We have different backgrounds. We have different goals. We have different aspirations. And it's not me against Stan. And, and you know, there, I think that that's what I hate a lot of times where you you people think it's about competition. To me, I think me and Stan having a relationship, we both being career coaches, we could both have a different communities. There's enough room out there for both of us. In fact, we should continue to collaborate. And, and, and I say this because I know Stan and I have that. And I, I'm sharing this with you because I think a lot of job seekers are afraid to go in a community and to be able to be like, oh, I'm afraid of sharing this job because then it's going to get hundreds of applications. And so now it's going to hurt my odds of getting a job. In fact, actually, I think you guys should have an abundance mindset and, and, and let like Stan and I's friendship be a testament of, we're only getting better because we sharpen each other. Iron sharpens iron. Um, and there's areas that the Stan has way, way more knowledge than I do that I go and I ask Stan for advice and vice versa. And I think that's what makes us both better. We're both better coaches, better business people, better better friends, better just man, better just community members because of our friendship. And I think that's the power of community, friendships. Um, and so Stan, I appreciate you. Uh, if you're listening to this, if you know someone that's looking for a job and is feeling lonely because, you know, you've heard it, there's signs there, share this episode with them, share with them Stan's profile, uh, uh, join the community. Um, and if look, if it, here's what I would do. For the first three people that message me, right, I am willing to pay for the first six months of the community for them. Uh, so like if wow. you DM me and said, hey, Daniel, I cannot afford, if you can afford it, pay for yourself. But if you're like, hey, Daniel, I cannot afford for Stan's, uh, you know, community, I want to be part of it. Um, I'll, I'll give away three scholarships for six months um, because I truly believe in what Stan is doing. So, thanks, Stan. That's amazing. Um, appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for listening and catch you guys in the next episode.